okay good day guys good day to you all uh, welcome back to the formula sports channel this is the day before the, the the day of the big match guys jamaica versus mexico smash the like button and also subscribe to the channel as well free and easy ways to support in this particular video we're just giving you a few updates namely with kima roof and Kevin Stewart and another particular issue as well. But guys, Kima Roof has cleared the air, guys. So many of you would have seen the video that I did, not yesterday, the day before yesterday, I think. And Kima Roof has now cleared the air as to his situation. Let me read that for you guys quickly. After speaking with Coach Paul Hall over the last few weeks regarding my fitness and availability for the upcoming fixtures, we decided that it would be best for me to miss out so that I can attend several important, important appointments to continue my recovery to get back to 100% fitness. Now, guys, I have so much respect for this post. What this post is indicating is that Kima Roof thinks very highly of the fans. The player did not have to put this out, but he put this out because of respect for the fans, right, and to, to, to let us know, right, what is taking place with him, why he's not in the squad. That is a high, a very high level of respect for the fans, right, and I really, really appreciate that. What the player is saying is that even though, right, he has already played in a game for Rangers, he's not 100% fit. And most importantly, the player is saying that he has medical appointments, right, that he would need to, you know, attend, right, in order for him to make that full 100% recovery, right? So all I can say is that I respect this post 100%. You know, I want to say this. I wasn't going to say this, but I'm going to say this. Boss, if you're going to attack my channel and try to tear my channel down, at least do it with one, credible information, and two, information that makes sense, right? For starters, the article you spoke about, you know, the article that you, you, you stated and presented it, presented it as facts to your audience saying that, you know, Rangers, you know, would have needed players to be able to play games right for starters that that article is based entirely on baseless speculation right i did research into the article and i did research into the contents in the article right i didn't see it and ignore it like what you were trying to you know portray to your fans right the source, I did not deem to be a credible source. It's not a notable source or a, or, or a source. It's an up-and-coming platform, right? Not a platform that is that is established or that is even well-established, right? Second of all, I looked into the information. It was just baseless speculation. Why am I going to include that in my video? And the next thing, boss, if you are going to speculate, at least speculate with and even make it seem as if you have an understanding of the subject matter at hand right even kima roof said it in this particular post after speaking with coach paul hall over the last few weeks regarding my fitness over the last few weeks he has been in constant dialogue not a one-off conversation with the gaffer two weeks ago Boss, if you're going to try to tear down my channel, at least, at least hit me with credible information and information that make it seem as if you have an understanding of the subject matter. And if you're going to tear down another vlogger, that's all I'm saying. All I was saying is that four days ago, Liam Moore, four days ago, there was an article from the Reading Chronicle that stated that Leah Moore has still, right, is still injured. 
So Liam Moore and Kevin Stewart would have made returns after Kima Roof would have made returns to competitive action after Kima Roof. So all I was saying is that I just didn't quite wrap my head around the still injured part. But Kima Roof has explained it now and I understand and I respect that 100%. Right, and I never question the players' commitment to reggae boys' cars, especially not after those performances that I saw against Honduras and Canada, where the man are run like hell, man. Anyways, I never did say nothing, but I couldn't help myself. If you're gonna tear down another vlogger, boss, at least do it with information, where at least show say you have an understanding of the subject matter and information. That is not based on baseless speculation. The next issue at hand, right, is Mr. Roof. Let me stop sharing this for a second and share the Kevin Stewart. Okay. So this article is in the Jamaica Observer. Let me read it. The article is entitled Breaking the Ice. Defender Liam Moore and central midfielder Kevin Stewart were the two players missing from the 23 reggae boys squad which took to the field for their training session on Tuesday. Now guys, many of us would have seen the videos and saw the pictures and would be wondering where is Kevin Stewart? Right, many of us, I personally didn't even pick up that Liam Moore wasn't there. You know, many of us are eagerly anticipating Kevin Stewart, man. The player is such a good player, right, and can help us tremendously. Reading Football Club's former skipper Moore was expected in the island on Tuesday, while Blackpool's football, Blackpool Football Club's newcomer to the group is slated to arrive on Wednesday, right? So there you go, people. The Blackpool player is slated to arrive, is scheduled to arrive today, right? So we can we can stop worrying, right? Is it is it is it a bit too late though in terms of will he be able to start tomorrow? Having arrived today, let's see, let's see. Let us see. And we don't even know what time he's scheduled to arrive. I, I need to look into that and see if I can see the time that the player is scheduled to arrive. Right? The team will have its final practice session on Wednesday evening at the National Stadium ahead of Thursday's crucial World Cup qualifier against Mexico at the same venue. One thing I want to point out also is that Further down in the article, it states that yesterday's first practice at Stadium East was to break the ice, Hall told the Jamaica Observer on Tuesday. He said most of the players in the group had already played in the qualifiers, so it was just for him and his technical staff to drill into the players the type of football that he wants the team to play. Hall said... They have two hours to prepare and it was a matter of being inventive with the sessions. Here they more the inventive so that the players could get as much out of them as possible. We will follow up with a lot of video sessions and video analysis looking at games with Mexico, looking at their strengths and looking at their weaknesses and how we can exploit them. Right? So guys, let me this is, please. Oh, yeah, and Paul also said that he was pleased with the attitude of the players at Tuesday's practice. So guys, you know, we hear some big training sessions are going in there, guys. Right? So the players they must see something different. You know, and, and that is expected. You know, a, a new gaffer, so obviously things would not remain the same things would be a little bit different, right? So, guys, um, you know, we're wishing the team all the best in tomorrow's big game, guys. All the best in tomorrow's big game. And, you know, that is an update for those of you who would have missed it involving Kima Roof and Kevin Stewart.
Stewart, right? So, guys, take care, stay safe, smash like button, subscribe as well, and until next time.